It was pretty exciting to make the, the top 10, um, a huge achievement, but I mean the celebrations don't last for long, you've got to knuckle down and look, <laughs> put, set your goals higher and, and, and continue to strive for the next best thing. I think I was, I was looking at top six after that. My studies at Massey helped me in respect, I think mainly related to the process and to the way that I attacked the challenges. And um, you know, with desserts, you have to have it pretty bang on. It's more of a science, and you, and you, you can't you can't do it ad hoc as, in quite the same way as you can with savoury products. So you know, with desserts, for example, I would I would if I was worried about gel, the jelly setting, I would, I'd do a number of different samples with different quantities of gelatin and different depths in the in the um, container or, or that sort of thing. And the other part of it was, I guess, understanding the interactions between ingredients, and then having that problem solving ability, which is sort of a skill I guess you're taught through the course. And there were various times that specific challenges where I had an edge, like the tasting challenge, um, where that, you know, that's something that, that I do as part of my job, is you know, when, you're, when you're trying to match a product, you, you're tasting it and, and yes, the ingredient list has a lot of what's in the product, but often it'll be listed as spices and you've got to identify what those spices are. So I would have been pretty embarrassed if I got that one wrong. Do your research first. Not too many people know all that much about it, so the best thing to do is to probably talk to people in the industry as much as you can. So many potential you know, job options, there's a massive shortage of food technologists, and it's such a diverse career. You can go into quality, you can go into product development, and packaging, sales. You can travel with it as well, and every day is different. It gives you a really good insight about what to expect in the industry and, and also shows you what you've learned is being applied and where it's, how it's relevant um, and also gives you a bit of a, an advantage I guess in some respects going into your next year and in, in that you've already sort of seen everything in context so then you can apply it and understand it better when you've, you've been taught it. My first one was with Wattie's and I was working on big red tomato soup, doing a starch replacement and then I started working on some Japanese products there as well. Um, and then I went to Mansfield in Australia. So I've got a job working for Simplot in Australia and we're developing chilled seafood products. Consumers are demanding food to be fresh, healthy, um, they want it to be clean, you know, clean labels, natural ingredients and I guess that's what chilled can offer.